If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for sticking by my side. Yeah, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm at a friend's house, a Kirote's house. Um, and she'll be joining me for this video. So yeah, we're gonna be talking about boys and girls. Oh, why? <laughs> oh, why? Yeah, it's Pride Month, so you know what? You love who you love. Yeah. Hi guys, my name is Mikirate, a content creator. Mm -hmm. Follow me on Instagram at Mikirate with four E's. And on YouTube at Mikirate Net. Or if you met Mikirate, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's me. All her details will be linked down in the description box. We're going to drink some wine and talk about boys. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, I asked you guys to share with me topics you would like us to discuss about dating and the first question was what are your deal breakers their minimums can you date from a different stripe um i go first yeah um bare minimum mm -hmm. this is just between a clean man mm -hmm. like any bare minimum yeah deal breakers a dirty person for real me i try that in a conversation with me Mm -hmm. um, what Can you date from a different tribe? Yeah, I've read enough of never dated from a tribe. <laughs> You've never dated from your tribe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I dated someone from me. Mm -hmm. Um deal breakers. Yeah. If you can't communicate. If yeah. If you can't communicate. <laughs> Some men you can't date. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we can't date. I'm a fanatic <laughs> If you can't <laughs> communicate or if I don't feel understood when I communicate. Oh, you don't feel hard. Yeah, girls. I have to flip so that you can hear me. I am. Um, can you date from a different tribe? Yes, I can. But we had this conversation with my colleagues a, a time back, and they were saying how how hard it is to date from your from a different tribe because of the culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you bring into marriage, there's so many things to consider. Yeah, makes sense. But um, that is if. You get a, a traditional person, and also when you get there, yeah. So, so other than a guy not being clean, you don't have any other deal breaker. Or well, that's the top of your list. That's the top of my list. But okay. when I think about it, a man who lies, man. Yeah. Never you lying. We are growing. We are growing. Who will beat you if you say the, the truth? The truth. Me, my deal breaker, an an aggressive man, an abusive man. If a, you beat me, a physical man. Even if you raise your voice at me, yeah, me when I shout, yeah, come on, me. Even your mother does not shout at me. I am. Me when I when I shout, yeah. The second question: What do you think about cohabiting? Cohabiting, staying together with your partner. Yeah, living. I wouldn't. I don't wouldn't. advocate for living with your man. Which I know for your wife, wifely duties, and yeah. your girlfriend. Yeah. Me unless you put a ring on my finger, mm. I am not living with you. When you're starting out to live with by yourself. There, there's a lot of learning you have to do. There's a lot yeah. of maturing you have to do, and I feel like you need to have your own space to do that. And uh, putting someone like letting someone into your space without experiencing it by yourself will hinder you from growth. From growth, yeah. yeah. From personal growth. From even understanding yourself. Yeah, more. yeah. Because you you're always in with yeah, someone else. Yeah, yeah. And it will even bring out the aspect of codependency. Yes. Yeah. If you're from home and then you start living with someone, someone else. you'll never be independent, independent. by yourself. Yeah. I, the second bit why I would slightly agree is probably if you've dated for quite a while and um, you just need to marry. Uh, there are signs that you will get married. Mm -hmm. That, like you see, maybe you've dated for like three to four years. Maybe the guy has, you know, the guy has asked you to move in with him. <laughs> with him please don't ever move if the guy has not asked you to move yeah in. Then you're both actually looking for a house to move into you're not yeah, moving into someone else's house you, yeah. you start 
Kawa may decide what kaku should come back. Yeah. Yeah. You start afresh. Not really afresh, maybe you can you can bring the things that you have, I bring the things I have, we live together. Please, if the, a guy has not asked you to move don't, in. Don't even don't you're going to do that. I mean uh, Steve Harvey said a guy's work is to profess, protect and Steve Harvey I'm going to tell you Six wine, six wine <laughs> Don't feel it. Mm-hmm. Ah, I don't know what she said, but not Joanna Van Gogh. So face protect and something. I'll, I'll insert it on the screen. Um, so mm-hmm. don't start acting like the man in the relationship. But Lydia was talking about I was talking about masculine energy and female energy. I feel like that's on a personal level. Like for me, how I resonated with that mm-hmm. is I feel like I'm quite independent, even in my relationships i will struggle to ask for help yeah so that's my masculine, masculine energy. energy yeah so me want to be in a relationship where my feminine energy is more. more yeah i feel like you have to do that intentionally especially if to let go of more yeah especially if normally your masculine energy is more than your feminine energy and i feel like most of us our masculine energy is higher because of shauma yeah. yeah, the the generation is being yeah. Brought up. yeah yeah even the things that you had to undergo, and, yeah. you feel like you have to be a certain way. I'd rather do things by myself than risk asking someone and let them let yeah. them let me down. Yeah, yeah. Thoughts on dating to marry? Right now, for me, where you are currently, and I have no clue. Don't come to me telling me you want to marry me. I'm a child. Come on. <laughs> Literally, I'm a child. No, for you too. Um, right now, for me, mm-hmm. I'm not dating to marry. Even my friends should not be dating to marry. Even, yeah, my friends are like 26, to, between 24 to 26, 27. Mm. Shouldn't be dating to marry. You're still a child, man. I feel like um, there's no, there's no, there's no um, time limit for marriage. Mm-hmm. But, me, me, come she. Mm-hmm. I want to get married when I have my own money. Okay. When I am financially stable, free. not even stable, free, free. Oof. I can you can do whatever I want. You can spend one million like this and feel nothing. Now you can be stable. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. when I want to get married and maybe have children. Wow. Yeah. Me and my thoughts on dating to marry mm-hmm. is um, yes and no. In terms of you should date someone who is a potential partner for life. A potential partner in that the traits he has is a trait you're looking for to settle down with. But what if me just want to have fun, right? <coughs> Those are my opinions. <laughs> <laughs> and they matter with the one, they matter. Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't feel like even if you you're with, you're having fun, mm-hmm. you should just date anyone. Yeah, you should have oh, the oh. the person should possess the some qualities that yeah, you like. Yeah, the, the qualities that you just don't just settle for anyone. Yeah, take a picture of dating and thinking that this person is the one you're gonna settle with. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get up. You might end up letting a lot of things go. Uh, I'ma not talk about them. I'ma just settle. Settling for and them. yeah, just in the name of I have to marry this mm-hmm. person. And it's not necessarily the truth. You're just experimenting and trying it out. That's the whole concept of dating. If it doesn't work out, you have a one way to get out. Do you believe? Do you? Do you? Maybe do you want to get married? <clears throat> Let me tell you. Um, I've been an advocate of marriage is not a goal. You can't work hard and get married for the longest time. Mm-hmm. Then recently, a friend of mine. I was going through it. Then a friend of mine was like. But babe, you're the one who's always been saying that marriage is not a goal. All that was thrown on my face and it was so hurtful. Like <laughs> yeah. me dishing it out is easier than, it's easier than a Because of course, yeah, it's not a goal, but actually like at times uh, having the picture of you, you're in your home with your husband and your kids, it's really ideal. But at the end of it, there's really nothing you can do to ascertain that future. All you can do is pray and do your part and be the best version of yourself and hoping and hope that it happens. And you also hope that you will meet the right person version of of himself. Yeah. Yeah. Also on on that I was I don't know if it's here. Hmm. There was someone who was talking about trauma. 
like if you date someone and he's like this i'm like this because this is how my family is i don't know i hate it i feel like that that is a thing but it shouldn't be i think yeah i don't you can't tell me that you believe that you date because your family yeah i feel like all of us are coming in with trauma but i have purposely purpose to to work on my trauma and my childhood issues why shouldn't you? you do the same yeah i and i don't put it on you i don't it is it isn't an excuse for how I um yeah i wouldn't bring it in an argument if you say this and this is needs to change i'll be like yeah i need to work on that and you know some people um some people get attracted to each other because they have the same trauma people say you keep on attracting what you are the toxic thing that you're battling so me if i have maybe family issues i'll attract yeah have family issues if yeah, let's say you safe with them. if you if you don't have if you don't have a good relationship with your dad per se mm-hmm. and he's a certain type of way you'll attract men who are like that if you haven't worked on your traumas you <laughs> how do you draw the line between ups and downs and it and it's time to call it quits like when i know i want to break up with someone yeah and the ups and downs in a relationship the kawaida ups and downs i feel like when the lies are when you just lie for no reason Mm -hmm. it's time to call it quits yeah there's no reason for us to be together because you can't say i make you happy Mm -hmm. yet you can't tell me the truth yeah you can't tell me you went this and this place you have to lie about it Mm. when you start lying man just break up you will know and you will know there are things that you can work on yeah and there are some that some you cannot that just yeah I like, everybody. yeah like cheating is not a part of ups and downs and also like miscommunication yes you can work on but only to a certain point if it's something that is keeps recurring me you can teach me how to <laughs> How do you know how to communicate? You can teach me how to communicate, yeah. and I will communicate to you the way you want me yeah. to communicate to you. But if it's like, let's say, you keep on misunderstanding me, you keep on whenever I am communicating, there's a, t- a, a certain way I want for you to assist me, and you keep on ignoring me. Ah, you don't feel hard. Yeah, I don't feel hard. I don't feel supported. I don't feel like i can be vulnerable with you yeah. if it keeps on recurring i think it's time to and just I call it as a command yeah yeah this is not your person yeah. yeah this is not your person and i feel like if you're dating someone that person should be manafai kuraim manzi au fai kufikiria ati itamwambia aje ama no he should understand it you should come up yeah like ina fa kwa like no more yeah. yeah. But the baby this happened. Yeah. It shouldn't it be a struggle. Na fanya nje kufikiria how we come and tell you this and that. Mm. It shouldn't be a struggle. If you find it tedious to talk to your person, that's time. Yeah. yeah. Do, do current family dynamics affect the kind of relationships we have? Yeah, of course. Mhm. Expound. If I have a uh, if I have an emotionally present dad. Mhm. I will look for an emotionally present man. If you don't, if I don't have an emotionally present man, mm-hmm. I will look for an emotionally present one. You look for someone who is emotionally present consciously. Yeah. Don't you feel like the traumas that you're facing I will feel be attracted to people who I are, feel like if you have an an emotionally present dad, you'll be attracted to an an emotionally present, present guy, guy and try make him emotionally present. I feel like oh, our current family dynamics do shape our relationships. But if you are aware that the current family dy- dynamics that you're facing aren't your ideal fam- family dynamics, you will look for no, you need to work on them. See a ah. therapist. Once you do that and it's intentional and purposeful, you will be keen on the type of people you are attracting yeah. and the kind of people you want in your future. Yeah. And even if you you tr- you attract the same kind of person you don't want to attract, you will see it and change. Have you ever yeah, been had growth can before? Girl, Miliconda. What's your name? Miliconda, 
least I can feel weight. I can relate. Let me see. Like, so can. Who's your work? You can't babe. Babe, we can't have time. We can't have time. We can't All my jeans were looking like mommy jeans. What have you learned? Is it significant? I didn't even tell him. How come? Is that you? Is that you or is it What's your tail? Last question. Mm-hmm. Phones in relationships discuss. I mean, babes, look at that phone. Now, what if the guy is married? Oh, oops, it reminded me. <laughs> I mean, see, they feel the need to look at someone's phone. Me, they want you looking at my phone, not because I'm cheating, it's because I have fishy, fishy mm. things going on as if it's men out there. I want you to see that I bought a bag worth 5,000 and then you start judging me. But you know me, I've not been in a relationship for long. Right now, mm-hmm. The relationship I am in. Wanna join me back? Guys, it was nice. It was nice. <laughs> See you on the next one. Link in the bio for anything else. But don't go through your partner's phone.